Hi guys, after WWDC 2023, iOS 17 finally come out, iOS update is the quickest way to have an early peek at its new features, but these pre-release versions are unstable and often come with lots of bugs. In case you want to downgrade to iOS 16 after updating to iOS 17, here's a guide, please keep watching. First, head to the Apple download page from your desktop browser to download IPSW files. Then select your device type, and choose iPhone here. If you want to downgrade iPad OS 17, then please select iPad. After that, choose your device mode. It will give you a stable iOS version that matches your device. Click it, please. Then scroll down, to hit up download button. Your file is downloading here. Please wait a moment. After it is downloaded, please connect your iPhone to your computer with a cable, tap on trust on your iPhone, and input the passcode. Your iPhone will be connected to iTunes. Go to the device details. Press and hold the option key on the keyboard and click on restore iPhone. Keep holding the option key until a new window appears. Here, browse and select the firmware you already downloaded and hit open. Again. Click on Restore and iTunes will instantly start restoring your iPhone to the available iOS version. After that, start setting up your iPhone as a new device. Tip 2. Download and launch any fix on your computer. Connect your device and select the Upgrade or Downgrade iOS mode. After connecting your device successfully, please select the One Click to Downgrade iOS slash iPadOS feature and click the Start Now button to get started. After that, the whole supported firmware packages, which are lower than the current one for the device will be displayed on the page. Then, please select the wanted firmware version, and click the Download button to download the firmware package. Please keep patient. When the downloading process is completed, please click the downgrade button to downgrade iOS version. After clicking the button, any fix will start to downgrade the iOS version automatically. Please do not disconnect your device until it restarts. And you have to set it up as a new device after it restarts. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more tips, and leave your comment if you have any questions.